Hello. Um, today I want to talk about Black Panther. Um, <clears throat> not really gonna spoil the film for any of you, um, because you know it's the film is out, and I know there's people who haven't seen the movie yet, and um, all I have to say is I've. I enjoyed it. Uh, I thought it was a good movie. Um, yeah, I thought it was an entertaining film. Um, though, uh, Marvel movies are very entertaining, um, particularly the MCU, um, I found. Um, I myself uh, don't know exactly what my favorite Marvel Studios film would be, um, but, uh, you know, that's just me, uh, I don't really exact, I don't really have one, uh, particularly, but, um, I probably have to watch all of them, and, um, I mean, I've seen all of them, but I probably have to, you know, have, like, a marathon to determine which one I truly enjoy the most, um, but, um, the plot was, uh, but I, I like the plot, you know. Uh, having to do with becoming the Black Panther, um, T'Challa does. Uh, he's becoming the king, and then also he's getting the, to be the Black Panther. Um, the, uh, I saw some places that say you should watch this movie um, after uh, Civil War, Captain America Civil War, because because of that component. Um, so, spoiler alert, I guess, for that film, if you haven't seen it, uh, but uh, T'Challa, um, Black Panther's father dies. That's kind of a big important thing for this film and uh, I, I would uh, I would see say you should see it um, that was a good movie um, yeah introduced the Black Panther and uh, and even Spider-Man um, or at least a new Spider-Man um, I you know, there's people who are, you know, talking about the movie, this movie, and talking about political stuff, and I'm not going to do that. Um, I don't want you to, uh, I don't want to, you know, get into any of that. Uh, people are, have already, I guess, discussed and analyzed any politicalness to it, any political message or hidden messages that are political and or social. I myself didn't go in and expect any of the sort. Nor do I really do go into any of these films. You know, the Dark Knight trilogy, for instance, people have dissected those films and say there's a um, political message underlying. Though, um, though quite honestly, uh, it's been said that uh, if you want said films to have said such a message, you can find it. Same with this movie. If you wanted us to have a certain message, you'll find <clears throat> certain uh, things in it that will support that. I myself didn't, but I I didn't want to. Uh, I just wanted to have a enjoyable time uh, watching a movie for like two hours. Two hours? Yeah, 134 minutes. We yeah, have two hours. Um, over two hours. But yeah, I thought I thought it was a good movie. Uh, you know, Chadwick Bo Boseman did a good job as Black Panther. Michael B. Jordan as a uh, uh, Killmonger. He was really good. Um, he's becoming a, a good, prominent uh, rising star. Uh, since Creed, 
that was an amazing movie. Uh, I recommend that. Lupita Nyong'o, I might have butchered that name. She was good. Um, the acting was good in all in this film. Martin Martin Freeman, uh, he was Bilbo. Uh, if you ever saw the Hobbit films, apparently he's on uh, the show Sherlock with uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. He plays uh, Watson. I haven't seen that, uh, but I've heard it's good, so I may see that. Forrest Whitaker did a good job. Uh, Angela Bassett, Bassett, yeah, Angela Bassett was uh, played uh, T'Challa's mo mother. Uh, T'Challa also had a sister. Theatre Wright. Uh, I, I may have actually uh, screwed up her first name. I apologize. Sometimes with names I'm not very good with, um, though I'm sure if you've watched uh, me before, you probably know that. Daniel Kalua was good as Wakabi. Um, the, uh, Danny Gerardo was also good, um, but yeah, Angela Best said she's to get back to her for but she's really good I but I, I've always enjoyed uh, watching Angela Bassett she's a fantastic actress she's, she's, she's just she's very she is very talented um, she's been in some great movies um, I read uh, yeah Andy Serkis plays uh, Ulysses Kalu. Uh, uh, he was in uh, Avengers Age of Ultron, so Avengers 2, he was in that film. He reprised his role for this film. And he did a good job. Um, you know, but then again, Andy Serkis does a good job on everything, uh, from Gollum onwards. Um, with motion capturing, it uh, seems to be when there's motion capturing, get him if you can. Um, I will say he doesn't seem to ever disappoint. Uh, I'm never disappointed whenever I watch Andy Serkis. Uh, he's a great actor. Um, I know some have complained that, you know, why can't we just see his normal face? Why does he always have to be play a CGI character? I mean, you know, he's good at it, he's great at it, but can't we just see him? Uh, so this this is one of those times if you enjoy Andy Circus, you can see him without CGI and all that, you know, motion capturing. Uh, if you're one of those people who would just like to see Andy Circus act as looking like himself, there you go. He has a beard, but you know, there are people who have beards in films, so. Um, yeah, for acting, yeah. Um, Ryan Coogler? Coogler? Bleh. I feel I'm screwing up again on names. But he made the... Uh, he made Creed, uh, which was a good film. He, he also puts Michael B. Jordan in all of his movies, so... You know... They work well together, and he's they're he's pretty good, um, pretty good team. Uh, I I actually like uh, uh, like it when directors are able to find actors and actresses to work together frequently and collaboratively. Um, I think in some instances it could actually help. Uh, in some ways, in film, like if there's a certain presence, uh, if there's a particular presence that a certain actor brings to a director's films, and they keep bringing that presence or a different presence 
regarding the character that's needed. You know, uh, that's great. That's good. It helps it. And Michael B. Jordan seems to do that with this director. So I think that I think uh, they do a good job working together. Um, though I will say, uh, people are acting before this film came out. Um, people were acting as if it's a new thing, like a, a, a black superhero movie. Like there had never been black superhero films to come before this film or anything. Um, but, you know, this year is the 20th anniversary of Blade, um, starring Wesley Snipes. That was a superhero film. It's a comic book film. Half man, half vampire. He was good at martial arts. You know, it was a great movie. Um, sure, some of the uh, uh, sequels weren't as good as the first, but you know, that was a good, prominent first film with a superhero that was played by a black man. Though then again, you know, Bleed is a black character. So, you know, it fits. Um, Wesley Snipes actually expressed interest in working on this film since 92, but that never happened. Also, a year before uh, Blade came out, um, you had uh, a film starring Shaq called Steel, and that was, movie was bad. Don't really recommend that film. Uh, you also had a uh, comic book movie, Catwoman, starring Halle Berry. Uh, it wasn't good. Um, and I'm not saying, oh, they were good because, you know, started black person. That's not it at all. Because um, I know some people will say that, but it just wasn't a good movie. Black Panther, I think, is good. I think it's a very good film. Blade was a very good film. Uh, but people like to just try and bring race in, like, this is the first black superhero film, and it just wasn't the case. There are other films that feature predominantly uh, black protagonist in the, uh, as the main character of the film. And, you know, this was a fantastic movie. I enjoyed, you know, I enjoyed this film. I, uh, yeah, you know, there might be people who aren't fond of it. I don't know. That could be because of the story or whatever. I'm not very familiar with Black Panther. Um, I'd say I know... I just knew kind of like his father died and then he became king of Wakanda and took on the reins of Black Panther. It's uh, really all I knew. Um, I don't know. You know, that was all I knew of the character up until then, but then again, that kind of happened in Civil War, so. Yeah. There's many of these characters that you don't really know a whole lot about, like, uh, I don't know a whole lot about The Atom, for instance, which is another Marvel film. Um, uh, also, Samuel L. Jackson is uh, Nick Fury in The Avengers uh, throughout the MCU. Nick Fury is in the comics white, but Samuel L. Jackson plays in, I don't really care. I don't care that, you know, but the people don't really uh, mention him. Though I guess, you know, he, he wasn't a huge uh, focus, you know, he focused mostly on Iron Man, the Hulk, and Captain America, and Thor, and those guys. Nick Fury is usually 
fairly uh, uh, in the background, uh, not background, behind the scenes. Yeah, behind the scenes. Uh, usually, though, so yeah, it you know, I just found it a very good film. I thought Black Panther did well uh, with what it had. It set forth and achieved such a, uh, you know, achieved what it set out to do, which I believe was to entertain people. I don't believe it was trying to push an agenda. I think people are trying to make that up, though. Or not, not necessarily make it up, but are trying to make an agenda where one isn't. Um, and if there was an agenda, I don't know. I didn't see one. Uh, then again, I wasn't looking for one either. Um, so, there you go. Um, yeah. Um, it's. I know I didn't really talk a whole lot about plot, but then again, you know, the film just came out last Friday. Um, not a lot of people that want to see it have seen it yet. Um, but, you know, I think if you enjoy the Marvel films, um, that the MCU in particular, like, since Iron Man onward, if you enjoy those films overall, kind of whole, I think you'd enjoy Black Panther. Um, yeah. continues on into this uh, universe. It continues the universe and it does it well. And, uh, yeah. So until uh, next time, because that's really all I have to say at the moment on, on the matter. Uh, I don't know if I'll say anything else about the film. Because it is good. I found it good. I thought it was a good film. I enjoyed it. Recommended to those who enjoyed uh, such Marvel films. And, uh, yeah. Till next time. I'll see you all later.